What's up, guys? Hi. We're back for uh, take two of this. Yeah. Hopefully, we won't uh, ramble as much. This is uh, Don Monty's at Run to Pick a Girls in Dungeon, Liu Chronicles, or Ryu Chronicles, book five. Uh, as you can see, it's focused in screen, so we are not. Sort of, kind of. Maybe. Yeah, there you go. Oh. So you can see it. Yep. I'm not going to show you this side too much because we're going to be talking about that stuff. Yeah. Uh, so this one is uh, the second to last volume. I'm pretty sure that's confirmed. Yep. Um, As your five minute research entailed. And, uh, you know, we're moving on to Freya things, so we will probably review the volume six, but we are excited for uh, hopefully the U.S. release of Freya Chronicles and uh, hopefully some other uh, releases. We'll see. Yeah, I really hope we get uh, Freya soon. Uh, because that's one that we're probably looking to or forward to the most uh, besides volume 15. Uh, but anyway, getting on to this volume, uh, it's pretty much taking off right where the last one left off. We get the scene with uh, Seer and Liu, uh, and there's a good little moment that kind of builds, uh, you know, some uh laying groundwork for volume 14 of the main series uh we're gonna try to talk less about that because we probably talked more about that in our first take um but with that being said you get a nice team with that uh after the first chapter it really shifts focus from liu to uh obviously these two on the cover uh renoa renoa i don't remember her name uh or how to pronounce it at least <clears throat> and then chloe uh, and it's a little bit more backstory, a bit more significant than the last volume, I think. Uh, even though the last volume did set up some stuff, this one kind of goes into more depth and adds a bit more world building that's, I would say, probably a bit more interesting in terms of what might be shown later. Um, but yeah, what did you think of it, Michael? Uh, yeah, so um, obviously the first chapter, uh, I like the new information, how it related back to volume uh, 14. In regard to both of their backstories, we got um, some good new information. Um, at the same time, it, was, it is kind of predictable because they, they're pretty similar. Uh, not necessarily in what they did in their backstories, but kind of what sim following similar lines. Mm -hmm. And you could tell the author was making a parallel between these two characters, um, which, which was helpful as well. Uh, beautiful art throughout the entire experience. We have um, quite a, a little bit more action-y scenes. Uh, because of the backstory, so uh, that's kind of helpful. Um, and besides that, uh, we, it does open up uh, the world outside of Arario, so uh, we have some things. We won't, I won't spend like six minutes talking about it, but <laughs> yeah. we do have some additional cities that may play a role later in the story, or at least opens it up for them to be a part of the story mm -hmm. later on. So that's kind of nice, and uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's interesting to see how much effort they put into these two characters so hopefully we can see more of them in the future obviously they played a role in 14 and they've played a role in previously but we'll have to see mm -hmm. if they actually if we get a perspective or a close-up on them more in the main series that then you know kind of like what they did here in this volume yeah because i think seeing a little bit more of their background is very interesting but not so much in the sense of the two characters it's more so for me like seeing uh you know the author kind of flesh out seeing different characters in the world so like the way uh their backstories lay out i think they're more interesting to me just because like um you know just seeing you know the different ways that people grew up in the world the different ways that they get stronger uh because we've really only seen like one way in orario and it's mainly from like bell's receptive or you know things that are kind of similar to Bell. So it's kind of cool to see, you know, ones that have different uh, differences in that way. Like Michael said, they do parallel a lot, but I think uh, they get enough development in here to, you know, lead into the next volume. Uh, I personally, uh, you know, would like to see these characters more, but, um, you know, it, and when they're needed, you know, it's not like we have to. It's not like I have a general attachment to him. It's just, you know, for what he's setting up, I think it'd be cool if he alludes more to it. But um, I guess time will tell to see if this is more so on the filler side or if it's, you know, going to be useful information later on. Yeah. Um, another thing, a couple of the things that were revealed that aren't really specifically spoilery that we learned. Um, it's kind of another confirmation that a lot of adventurers start out really young. At least, you know, you, at first it was just eyes, but now you have these two individuals who start out leveling up super young. Um, and then additionally, we kind of found out there's more ways to level up than in Orario. 
uh, with just like the dungeon killing monsters. You can fight against humans and like fighting in general. And it, you know, it's not like spe- specified what exactly gets you XP. You know, in like the main series. Well, least. apparently it's in the early volumes. But I just forgot. Now we know so. that killing people and or just fighting them and like getting stronger like a normal warrior does get you XP to level up as well. Yeah, which that makes sense. Uh, you know, it's nice to know that's for sure in there. Uh, I think what's cool is, um, you know, the possibility of seeing more like movie styled level uh, adventures or just, you know, shows on the world because I think this one kind of expands what was introduced in the movie. Um, you know, just, you know, seeing more outside the city. And I think those are actually pretty uh, intriguing to me. So I'd like to see that play more in the main series as well. Obviously, we don't need it right now, but I think it'd be cool to touch on. And I'm glad that he's laying the groundwork in this. And I think um, totally kind of off base. So I will not uh, off topic. So I won't talk about too much. But I think uh, Orario being like the one place in the world with like high high level adventurers rank up is kind of a missed opportunity like i feel like if there was another city whether it was controlled just by one god or controlled by like a f- another faction it would be kind of cool if there was also like something that could at least rival them and at least have some tension rather than it being kind of like the world's super big but this one place is that we're on is the really the only thing that's important yeah i mean i have a speculation for that i guess i'll just say here because it's not that long but maybe what they'll do is they have like another like nomadic group that's just accumulated off of you know higher level adventures, kind of like what um, Ares tried to do, but more successfully. And then we start hearing rumors that those bigger cities are getting like toppled over. That might make it interesting, but I don't know if like they want to make it like, you know, really flesh out, take other characters that we know into other regions, then, you know, that's going to be a problem because from what we get in here, there's only like two or three other like major ones or provinces or countries or whatever. Um, But that being said, this volume, I think I'm going to give it a worth it. Uh, I do like it. Uh, there is, you know, some little nitpicks you could say. One of the nitpicks I would say is that we don't get, you know, a whole focus on Liu, which is something I'm actually really craving since we just got off of volume 14. Uh, but I think they, you know, add enough in there that, you know, kind of ties you over and it's cool to see the uh, other stuff like we mentioned in there. Obviously, there's some redundancies with, you know, the plots for these two main focuses, but I think it kind of works out because the authors kind of set that up as their comedic relief or part of their comedic relief anyway. Um, but I think it's still uh, a worthy entry in the side series. And I mean, not to say it's anything, you know, that, uh, I guess, you know, out of the blue, since we only have five volumes at this point, but I think this is, would be in my top three volumes of the side series so far. Yeah, I, th- I think it's a worth it as well. Um, I, I do wish more, there was more Liu elements, but the, the ones that are in there, especially chapter one, how it relates back to 14 and kind of still seeing good amount of character advancement that still is right in line with what happens later on, you know, obviously Mm -hmm. just 14 is later on in the timeline. So I appreciated that and uh, I'm excited to see how they finish it off um, and see what happens because obviously we know what happens happens (laughs) we don't know how it happens so that'll be interesting to see. Yeah, I really hope that the the next volume is a little bit more than just, uh, you know, a conflict at the beginning and then them being at the benevolent mistress i really hope that there is more to it than that uh even if it's you know flashbacks or flash forwards uh probably won't get a flash forward but you know if there was like another flashback that has to revolve around liu then i would really like that um the only thing i gotta say in closing is that maybe we'll do after this series concludes maybe we'll do like a you know, a look back at our thoughts and see, you know, was this worth it? Did it focus on the right things? So that'll be something to keep an eye on once volume six comes out or at least after volume six comes out. But uh, I think we know it comes, next volume comes out really shortly because this one's been out for a while. So, um, you know, it'll probably be here before you guys know it. So keep uh, keep waiting for volume 15. See you in 3000 years. Yeah, it's good. To, it's going to be a while. Uh, but you can check all our other stuff. We're starting to link stuff here, so you know you'll see it. Uh, but anyway, guys, that'll conclude this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Later, peace.